and television dude here and I have a problem and I don't know the correct solution to this problem so here's the deal someone bought some Atari games off me I forget how many 50 to 60 games I think and I'm shipping them to Canada so after doing calculations on multiple sites I found out shipping UPS would be about $22 cheaper than shipping USPS so no big deal so the seller sends me the money this is not on eBay by the way so it's not so we, we have time to figure this out uh, seller gave me the money I take it to the UPS store and she starts asking me like 20 questions right off the bat here seems like because at the UPS they are more particular than they are at USPS very very much more particular they want detailed a list of what's in the box not just video games how many video games and I was you know I was like oh it's a lot of games I don't know it's a lot of games and she she, she had that worried look on her face like she, like she was afraid that if I if we don't put the detailed information and I don't put correct value on the stuff that it could get stuck in customs and there could be duty and custom fees out the ass for the for the for the for the buyer you know for who I'm sending this to so does anybody in, in Canada in particularly have any uh, experience with UPS because I'm, I'm talking with the uh, the guy who bought the games right now and we're trying to come up with a solution so you know one solution is to pay 22 do 22 more dollars which of course is not a not the solution we really want but we want to know what would be a possible customs value on this. Lady at the UPS store was tr trying to be straight with me. She, she was acting like she was worried about me and how things work with UPS. And she doesn't want to see me get screwed or the other person get screwed. She, she, she was kind of, it's almost like she knows how this stuff works. And like she's been down this road before. But she thinks that no matter how many games are in there, you should probably value everything at at least a dollar a piece. And if there's 50 to 60 games, that's like 50 to 60 bucks. And I don't know what the customs and duty fees are going to be on that. I don't know if that's going to be much more than the $22 more shipping USPS. I'm trying to save money here, but it sounds like UPS is going to be complicated. It's pretty much a question to people in Canada, basically, or people who have experience shipping to Canada, UPS versus USPS. And I don't even know where the local FedEx place is. I don't, I don't want to, not even sure if that's even a possibility. I know where the UPS store is, and I know where the post office is. It's pretty close to the house. So I'd, I'd rather have it just be between those two. But if anybody at all has any information for me, please let me know. And that's the end of this video, so thanks for watching.